Ever wonder why she gets all upset and starts acting all crazy? Yeah, we've all been there, haven't we? One minute everything's peachy, the next it's like World War III. What's up with that? We're about to dive deep into the murky waters of emotional dynamics where feelings are as volatile as a New York summer's day. Unpredictable, intense, and you never know when a storm's gonna hit. But hey, that's life, right? And that, my friends, is relationships. Emotions, they're a tricky business, like trying to navigate the subway during rush hour, a real mess. And when they're on a roller coaster, oh boy, you better buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy ride. You see, emotions aren't just something that happens to us. They're a reaction, a response to something. And often, that something is you. Yeah, you heard me right. You might be the one poking the bear without even realizing it. She didn't just wake up one day and decide to go off the rails. There's usually a trigger, something that sets off the emotional fireworks. Maybe you didn't notice that new haircut or forgot your anniversary, or maybe you just left the toilet seat up one too many times. Whatever it is, you've unknowingly lit the fuse. Now don't get all defensive. This ain't about blaming you. It's about understanding, about figuring out the why behind the what, because Let's face it, nobody likes walking on eggshells, especially not in their own home. So how about we try to understand these emotional outbursts better? How about we try to see the patterns, the triggers, the signs that the storm is brewing? And remember, it's not just about keeping the peace. It's about respect, understanding, and love. Because in the end, that's what relationships are all about, right? But hey, don't just think you're off the hook here, fellas. You play a part in this emotional drama, too. And if you're up for the challenge, stick around. We're just getting started. So, she's upset and now she's disrespecting you. What gives? Well, let's break it down, fellas. Disrespect, it's like a nasty virus, isn't it? It creeps up on you and before you know it, it's infected every corner of your relationship. The love and respect that once formed the bedrock of your bond start to crumble. And all that's left is this ugly face of disrespect. Now let's take a step back. Remember when Jay-Z had that infamous elevator incident with Solange? Yeah, you know the one. It was all over the news, wasn't it? There you had a classic case of disrespect showing its ugly face. And what did it do? It brought a whole lot of negative attention, didn't it? But the real question is, why did it happen? You see, disrespect often sprouts from unresolved emotional issues. It's like a weed that grows in the garden of your relationship when you don't tend to your emotional health. It's not about who left the toilet seat up or who forgot to pick up the dry cleaning. Nah, it's deeper than that. It's about that time when she felt unheard or when you felt unappreciated. It's about those tiny little slights that pile up over time and turn into this giant mountain of resentment. And boy, when that mountain erupts, it ain't pretty. Think about it. How many times have you seen a celebrity couple break up and you're sitting there scratching your head thinking, what happened? They seem so perfect. Well, chances are, underneath that picture-perfect facade, there was a whole lot of disrespect brewing. So, what's the takeaway here? Look, nobody's saying you gotta be perfect. We all mess up. We all have our moments. But the key is to address those issues before they turn into disrespect. Because let me tell you, once disrespect enters the picture, it's a whole different ball game. Disrespect ain't just about hurt feelings, it's about the damage it does to your relationship. Ever heard of emotional self-control? Nah, well buckle up, cause we're going for a ride. Now, we all know emotions can be like a wild horse, galloping with no reins, no direction. One minute you're on cloud nine, the next you're down in the dumps. Sounds familiar? That's cause it's the story of everyone's life. But here's the kicker, fellas, it doesn't have to be this way. Emotional self-control, it's not some fancy term psychologists cooked up to sound smart. It's the real deal. It's that secret ingredient in the recipe of a healthy relationship. You know, like the hot sauce in your grandma's secret chili recipe. It adds that kick, that zing, when you've got emotional self-control. You're not just going with the flow, you're steering the boat. You're not reacting, you're responding. There's a big difference, fellas. Reacting is knee-jerk, like swatting a fly. Responding, on the other hand, takes thought, it takes emotional self-control. But what happens when you're missing this piece? Well, imagine trying to assemble a puzzle with a piece missing. Frustrating, ain't it? That's what it's like trying to maintain a relationship without emotional self-control. 
It's like trying to drive with a flat tire, trying to fly with one wing. Now, I ain't saying it's easy. Nothing worth having ever is, but it's worth it. It's worth the effort, the struggle, the introspection. Because at the end of the day, emotional self-control is about respect, respect for yourself, respect for your partner. So here's a thought. Next time you feel that anger brewing, that jealousy flaring, that frustration building, take a pause, take a deep breath. Ask yourself, is this reaction serving me? Is it serving this relationship? If the answer is no, well, you know what to do. Remember, fellas, control your emotions. Don't let them control you. All right, so how do you know if she's got emotional self-control or if she's just a ticking time bomb? Let's dive headfirst into this, shall we? First off, emotional self-control is not about suppressing feelings. It's about understanding and managing them. It's the ability to take a step back, take a deep breath and respond rather than react. It's the difference between a calm conversation and a full-blown argument. Now, there's a saying that actions speak louder than words, and it couldn't be truer when it comes to assessing emotional self-control. So, what signs should you look out for? First and foremost, observe how she handles stress. Life is full of curveballs, and how she deals with them can tell you a lot. Does she take a moment to gather her thoughts and find a solution? Or does she immediately go into panic mode? Next, pay attention to her reactions in disagreements. Does she listen to your point of view? Or does she immediately get defensive and start blaming you? Constructive conversations are a sign of emotional maturity, while blame games and defensiveness are red flags. Also, take note of her ability to express her feelings. Does she communicate openly about her emotions? Or does she bottle them up until they explode. Open communication is key to a healthy relationship, while emotional outbursts can be a sign of lack of emotional control. Lastly, observe how she treats others, especially those who can do nothing for her. Kindness and respect towards all individuals, regardless of their status, is a sign of emotional intelligence and self-control. Remember, nobody's perfect. We all have our moments. But if these behaviors are more of the norm than the exception, it might be time to have a serious conversation. So there you have it. A quick guide to assessing emotional self-control. It's not foolproof, but it's a start. And remember, this isn't about finding faults in your partner. It's about understanding them better and working towards a healthier relationship. Knowledge is power, fellas. Use it wisely. So we've been through quite a journey, ain't we? We've taken a deep dive into the murky waters of the emotional dynamics that rule our relationships. We've seen how she reacts when she's upset. And trust me, it ain't always pretty. But hey, that's part and parcel of the whole shebang. We've all got our ups and downs. But it's how we handle those downs that really counts. It's like being in the ring with Mike Tyson. You gotta bob and weave, duck and dodge, and never let your guard down. And then we looked at disrespect. It's like a rattlesnake in the grass, ready to strike when you least expect it. It doesn't matter how much love there is, if there's disrespect, that's a poison that'll seep into everything. It's the kind of thing that'll have you up at three in the morning, staring out at the city lights, wondering where it all went wrong. But don't get it twisted, fellas. It ain't all doom and gloom. We also talked about emotional self-control. Now that's the secret sauce. That's the real game changer. It's about keeping your cool when the heat is on. It's about stepping up, not stepping out. So let's sum this all up. Understanding emotional dynamics, recognizing disrespect when it rears its ugly head, and mastering emotional self-control. These are the keys to having a healthy relationship. It ain't easy, but nothing worth having ever is. And remember, it's not about blaming her or blaming yourself. It's about understanding. It's about communication. It's about respect. It's about taking responsibility for your own actions and emotions. If you've enjoyed this emotional roller coaster, hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to check out our other videos. We've got plenty more where this came from, plenty more wisdom to share. So until next time, fellas, keep it real.